Hey everybody, it is me, Beasto Blast, and welcome to an April Fool's joke I was not expecting in the slightest. You know, the good ones. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Just, just like Sonic 06, baby, right through the chest. I'm excited. Um, I don't know what this is. I, I just, I literally saw the, um, Sega Twitter account be like, hey, we made a game. And I was just like, what? You did what? Dot, dot, dot. Phew. Made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so good, my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Oh shit, that's me. Oh shit, that's me! We look, we look kind of similar, hang on. Let's go this way. <laughs> what, what are we naming him? I, I, I don't want to name him after me. Um. Did it, did it actually like do a space? It does a space. Sick. Uh, you moron. That's my name. Dot dot dot. I don't think I could show my face to rap here again if I wrote that. Let's try again. <laughs> oh, they know me. They know me good. Um. Damn it. All right. Well, you can't even you can't even do something like remotely mean. Well, I mean, you probably could. I gotta think of joke names. I got I gotta get joke names. Up. Please. <laughs> Fuck. They know it. They know them all. Dude, they got them all. Alright, fine. Um. Do we do we want to keep messing? No. I, I don't want to get creative either. Beasto. Beasto! Did I spell that right? Yeah. Hope passengers can read my scribble. Whatever. Whatever. Ooh, pretty. Okay, really pretty. Uh, dining car. I like the, uh, the generations, splashes, whatever that crap is. Uh-oh, am I nervous? Is this the first day on the job, Jitters? Working on the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Beasto, shake it off. Okay. Beasto, did I just, uh, see you hitting yourself? M -m Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you this morning? Uh-huh, <laughs> quite alright myself, though I have been feeling a little bittersweet. Is everything alright? Well, truth be told, not really. Alas, today is my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got her plane tickets to Spagonia unlocked. Oh my god, Spagonia! I just realized something. Does this game have uh, controller support? Sick nasty, it's what I thought. <laughs> I don't know why I tried, my fault. Our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. <laughs> I can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working on the dining car. Here's the menu for today. I wanna see it. Can I look at it? I wanna look at it. What are you selling? Chili dogs, ramen, and chicken corn and blues. What? I'm, well, I'm, well you, can make, you can make good ramen. My, when I thought ramen, I was immediately thinking like the uh, store brand you buy, but no, you can make good ramen. Of course we got chili dogs. You can't, you can't. It's not a Sonic game without a chili dog. And chicken corn on blue, don't know why that's there. I can open the inventory anytime and view the items I received. I just did that. Oh, come on. I just did that. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. <laughs> That's true. That is actually true. Um, Going back and forth, I travel sometimes, and I ordered mac and cheese once. Because I, I was like, why the hell does the train have mac and cheese? Like, how do you make mac and cheese on a train? Yeah, you slap it in the microwave. It's, it's um, one of those, like, microwave dinners. It was really good, though. Like, it's, it was genuinely, like, all right. Though, I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Just chicken corn on blue. Ding, ding, ding. Glad you can read the menu. Okay. A little about this vessel. It's state-of-the-art at the art. Hot, wait, whoa. A little about this vessel. This is a state-of-the-art high-speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor, so it's a prank. Guess we'll be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. So Sonic's not actually dead. Man, we can't, we're not gonna 06 this. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Yeah, I'll make you proud. Ha <laughs> ha! Glad this old man can rest easy. Doors to Mirage Express are opening. All aboard! Ooh, that's pretty. 
the art in this game is so pretty. I, I think it's the same people, I'm gonna assume it's the same people that have done, like, IDW work, because it looks so similar and it's really good. Is that the fucking pansexual flag? <laughs> What's going on there? It's probably Sonic Heroes, but like, huh. No, wait, we, we respect that, baby. Hi, Amy. Wow, this trade is incredible. Such fascinating tech. Yeah, of course you look like Sherlock, you little dork. You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. Do I- Oh, shit. Do I do voices? How do I- How do I do- I, I mean, I can do some voices, but I can't do that many voices. What did you all expect? You know I always go out on my birth- You know I always go all out on my birthday party. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Calm down there, Rouge. Oh my god, he's in the fucking OVA outfit! Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? It was a pen, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? What cast of characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself, Beast. Oh, you're sweating through your uniform. Hey, pal. Can I get one of those chili dogs? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your radio friend! Well, aren't you friendly? <laughs> Why can't I be normal for one second? Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. <laughs> Sorry about that birthday, girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Bisto, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with, and we'll collect their ticket. I get to talk to them? Oh, jeez. Um, you. Oh, shit! Pick Shadow on accident, sorry. My fault. I got, I got a little excited. I'm a Shadow fan. Shadow fanboy. Here. Thank you. Everything's in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Uh, no, sadly, I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. That strain, that's there. Ugh, fur is so cold. Beastle, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch you your jacket? No, I'm all good. Uh, I don't know, I shouldn't do it like that. Let's just go around. So we start with Shadow, let's just go counterclockwise. Uh, Rouge. Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so positive. Or, that's, that's polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Gonna have to kindly ask you for that back. Oh! This was yours? It must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. My girl, my girl Blaze. How you doing, Blaze? May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. P princess? Did she just say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. Thank God they still have that cannon. A separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday. Then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own. So I must admit I'm a bit excited. <laughs> you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Should I bow? Do I bow? Poor princess. What are you doing? Please get up. Oh, why, why can I not win in this group? Hi, hi, birthday girl. Can I please get the birthday girl's ticket? <laughs> why, certainly. Thank you, miss. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Maybe we should leave her to have the fun. Before we move along, for you, miss. Oh, how fun! Thank you. Where do I where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday! The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. What's going on with this dapper little gentleman? He looks so fucking adorable. What's going on, SBO? Can we please see your ticket? Of course. Excellent. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely. I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence put me at ease. You consider me calming? He's looking right at me. I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Wow, ninjutsu? That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling on the walls? Cling on the walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. Conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. What's going on, Vector? That's my boy. I can't do a Vector impression. I don't want to try. Is that fucking blood? <laughs> is, that, is that blood on there? Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Uh, yeah, sure. Of course. 
Yeah, you like that? As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? I seem to have, uh, misplaced my ticket. Could you please speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Ah, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. You. I think that little brat has it. Oh, wait. I can talk with this? Hmm, yummy. Don't mind if I do. Beasto, those are for our guests, you know. Train? Be sure Beasto only gets one of those if they ask. Blink at me? Yeah, I'm just gonna nod. Actually, uh, train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. <laughs> Good try, young buck. The train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to try and get what you want. Drat. Those snacks look really tasty, too. Uh, oh, oh, God. I didn't even notice the panel. There's more of you bastards. Ticket, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Huh. Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst. But my kids swore you would swoop in eventually. And you did. Is this like... Are we getting some forces knowledge in this? This is interesting. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Is he, is he Sonic the Hedgehog? Just uh, d d name drop. <gasps> Boosh! Sonic the Hedgehog. I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Now have fun. Y yes, have fun now. Will do. Thanks. What's up, little dork? He's so puntable. Can I get your ticket, youngin? Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can hardly melt... That can melt any jaded heart. Okay. No way. I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me, too. It's my first day, and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. <laughs> Absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. Oh, it's just Knuckles. <laughs> okay. Howdy! Can I please get your ticket? I think that's a ticket. But I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good, thank you. Seems to be the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Hmm. What's sticking on this napkin holder? Say, wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. And let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Lost ticket. Hey, dork. Find anything yet? Well, we might just have what you need. Visto, why don't you show your friend what you picked up? You want the menu? Ah, there it is. That's my ticket. Thanks so much to you both. I forgot. I, 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 he's so happy. When he's happy, I want to give him like a really high voice. But I keep forgetting Vector always had like that little grunge in him. I was really worried you kicked me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. All <laughs> beasts here would have had their hands full kicking you out. You're right. I wouldn't leave without a fight. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> they're all laughing. Wait, you made me both microwave expert and security guard. You're both alright in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone. Time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. Oh my god, is that why they did the fucking uh, Dungeons and Dragons class thing yesterday? To promote this? And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare for the driver's compartment to departure. Uh, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time in the Mirage Express. Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And train? Assist Beasto if they need any help, won't you? <laughs> that's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor and his train. Excellent. I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please, have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state-of-the-art and has systems for dealing with all that. For everything else, please talk to Beasto here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look truly amazing. I trust you all read the lore cards as well. Lore cards? There must be some detail for their motivations. I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read aloud, otherwise people wouldn't know what their murderer's intentions. Now, on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered, and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required, for it is my birthday. Of course! Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are ship captain, and you'll be stationed as the conductor. 
Oh, well, he's gonna be in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you're the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. That makes sense. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon. And Blaze, you're a titan of industry. Both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Hm, sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher. And Espio, the poet. Both found in the library. Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can... Make a tower of books or something. Shadow's the locksmith, hanging out in the lounge. Mm. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Yeah. Ah, I was listening in. Hope that's okay. More than alright. You can help ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. Map. I have a map for each of you. Everyone's stationed is marked on this map as well. How convenient. Got the map. Uh, oh wait. Oh shit, look at this. Okay. <laughs> the rules of the game are as follows. There's a murderer amongst all of you all. I, I, yeah, I wonder why you had to put the ST in that one. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone, to your stations! What do I do? Ah! This is so exciting! A mystery is unfolding right before our very noses! How thrilling. Same! Ah! Isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering, deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No! The lore cards are confidential. No one knows about the person who received them. My backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. Yeah, you mean the E100 series? My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna lie, this sounds kinda fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Uh-oh, dramatic sting. The train started moving! It's so fast, grab onto something! What is going on? Ah, I'm slipping. Hold on. I, I can't. Ah, no! Holy fuck. Okay, that's bad. That's really bad. Sonic, Sonic, Sonic can't drive. Can't, no, he can drive a car. I don't think he can drive a train, though. I think that's, yeah, I think he, I think he effed up. You're both awake. Yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everything alright? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, as it does, but I'm okay. And it seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm, I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Bisto, could you get that door? Of course. Huh, it seems the door is blocked, and I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen shuffle whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Let's find another way out. I'll uh, start looking for clues. I'll search over here. I know Amy. She's hiding something. Huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet, and we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. I played Ace Attorney. I got this shit. I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Understood. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex-flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. I like that. I, I like the... What is this? Ah, the wet floor sign, keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spilled juice at the grocery store, no wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. But he's going so fast, he almost slipped on the juice. We slid into an old gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's a thought that counts, I suppose. Oh, it's all kind of like outlined, if it's interesting. Oh, that's your fucking hammer. What's this, a rod? tip is broken. It looks like it could have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. 
got a stick. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check here. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. How do I become as, op as optimistic as this kid? Making sure I'm not missing anything, like, super obvious. Yeah. What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? Want me to get out of here? Sure. I normally never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skill has gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook a mean iron cast pizza. Cast iron, whatever. I've only had microwave lunches this week. Uh, what if I do one of these numbers? Alright, we're good. The shelf's blocking our exit. It's currently not budging. Hey, Beast Oak, look closely at this. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train? I'll keep looking. Get fucked. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accused me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't gonna be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy, I was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? I don't think you were sitting idly while Bisto and I were, knocking, were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempt to escape or help search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Bisto, let me step you through this. First, find the correct use of evidence from your inventory. Once it's been deduced, we must form our argument to fight back. Alright, let's do this. So here's the issue. I'm gonna guess this. What, some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over, damage makes sense. You have no argument here, you're grasping. Oof. Okay, Tails, what now? Well, for now we follow this train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I have to explain myself? Well, you see, uh, hmm, well, I guess something I like to think. What would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing bad necks. He never loses. Like, like, like an endless runner game. I play a lot of these on my phone. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? And find your argument. Alright, let's prove we're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback like Sonic would do. Think! Okay. I got a dream gear. When the Sonic advances this fucking shit, let's do it! Oh, this is one really pretty looking. Two of the, uh, as I said, like it has like the fucking uh, Game Boy sound font. Oh my god, this is fun. Uh-oh, you have you have actual gameplay. This goes hard as fuck. This song goes hard. I like this. I did it. I got an idea. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around it for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me on a train this well kept the damage here before we arrived? Well, well I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was that shit? What, uh, nice, nice one, idiot. What was the shelf hit with then? What was the shit hit with? A stick. What is that, a stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? I gotta think again. I'm so glad it's not just a little visual novel. I mean, I don't care. I think visual novels are a little fun, honestly. Oh, it's so Sonic Advance, I could cry. It makes me so freaking happy, you have no idea. Sonic Advance is my baby. You're right. A stick can't do this kind of damage from the shelf, it's on its own. But if it was attached to something, it could, like, let's say a hammer? Ah, this isn't exactly a stick after all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Oh, oh! I did it. It was as you both said, I tried to get us all out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal to try and hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups, and it's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I needed. it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and double as a mechanic. Let's see if both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little elbow grease there, and it's fixed. Tails, thank you. 
According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stand back. The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it. We're free. Great job, Amy. Let's go get out of here. So, interesting tutorial. How much am I going to actually do that? Wait, is that... I so this is this is what this is what got me to play the game. I saw this screenshot and this is the funniest freaking image. Actually, hang on, I gotta get my I, I gotta get my face out of the way. <laughs> Let's put it up here, anyways. Oh goodness, goodness gracious! I don't know what the center is. I think it's the center. It can't be. Sonic. Someone murdered my darling Sonic. Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait! I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me! What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Sonic? Eh. Body numb. Can't move. What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need the rest. Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are there... Are those wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery, or is this serious? Sonic, Sonic! Oh, no, no. I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Beastle. What do I do? I do what Sonic does. I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. So I leave their care to you, Beasto, my favorite employee. Surely you won't let me down on this last ride. <laughs> I'ma do it. Actually, smarter idea for my, um... Yeah. So you don't have to worry about the inventory and crap. Let me catch up with uh, Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even though this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. Dear God, this is an actual game. The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Ooh. Title card. Ooh. Mirage Saloon. Because it's the Mirage train car. Oh my God. Oh my God. Whoa, look at this place. I've looked around and I don't see her. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. Seems she's really excited. Did you need something from me? Um, yeah, just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? Ha! Ha ha! He's laughing? Sonic doesn't go down easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're all just really committed to the mystery for Amy. You'll have nothing to worry about, promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange places. He's fine. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game, or is there something deeper happening? Any more evidence to figure out what's going on? Can I tag along with you? If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along with you? Oh, of course, sure. Now, if I ever need a snack, you've got me. <laughs> Fair. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because that... Where's my lore card? Uh, the last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. This is true. You varmints. What are you doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. <laughs> Knuckles! We're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic! I can see that. Amy mosey on through and tell me about it. <coughs> Enough of that. I wonder how long you keep that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help establish your alibi and... No. I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something, but why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Beastle, we need to help. we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while he while we were apart. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Alright, let's do it. Clearly we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. That's a okay, that's a reach. Nice one. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damages look more than it's caused from punches? Who could have done that? looking at me for smashed arcade is added to your inventory ah the bowl of assorted nuts the classic saloon snack kind of bland huh seems like someone licked all the salt off of them oh, uh, or maybe they're just insulted 
Something's always hidden in the trash can. Let's check here. Sadly, this one's empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being in, in trash cans is flawed. It's only a matter of time. Tails have faith. So as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. I think Tails is ignoring me. So this is interesting. What is? There's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty? So this one is lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone must. Uh, someone else must have been here. We should log this. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what actually happened. Is there anything else I can look at? I can talk to the hand. Oh, I can look out the window. Breathtaking views. Ooh, it really is. Are those the chains from Little um, Little Planet? This train passes by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to see. I'm just happy to be traveling at a normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. I don't mind roller coasters, though I find myself having more fun on the running on the tracks than I do riding in the carts. I'll never understand this friend group. The robotic arms here are really helpful. What's the arm doing to my hair? He fixed it up a bit, that's incredible! What interesting tech. Uh-oh. Should I fear for my job a little bit? I'll, I'll welcome to microwave. Alright, what's going on, dick? I thought I told you to leave me alone. I like your hat. Mm. Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. It doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. He's just like me for real, for real. <laughs> Did you adjust your hat a bit so we could see it better? I said leave! Knuckles, Bisto and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anywhere in anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. Huh? It, it is? We have evidence, too. We, we do. Bisto, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? I'm gonna go with Super Monkey Ball. The arcade machine? Ha! <laughs> what makes you think I touched it? I think. Desert! That's cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's an actual game! Oh my god, it's an actual game! These aren't piss easy! Just kidding! I'm the special stage warrior. I do like how it has my, um, my little, uh, my signature. And it's called the Dream Gear. Instead of the Game Gear. That's cool. That's clever. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because... What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine, but why? I needed a punching bag and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. H how will you... I'm on it. Be so distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on. Boss fight? No. Oh. I don't know why I would expect a boss fight. That's insane to me that this is a real game. I think I might lose this one. I don't know if I can think hard enough. It is hard to think. I'm fine. The arcade machine is fixed! No, don't look at the scores! Quick, look at the scores! I'm pulling it up now. Okay, what, what does this tell us? Actually, hang on, let me stop and read. Bread, apple, toast, knuckles, and vector. Ultim, bagel, and candy. I don't think these are um, Sonic characters. I think we're okay. Nothing, obviously. Tell us something massive. Look at the name on the top of the list. It's Vector! It's supposed to be in the library car. This picture is beginning to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Ugh. He's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove me he was here now. Okay. It's not even that hard of an, uh, an assumption. You, uh, you got three glasses. And one of them is lipstick. You think Vector wears lipstick? Hey, he might. I can see him rock him. Okay, I'm getting effed up. That was a closey. That was kind of close. I, I, I'll give it to you. 
little close. A little close. A little close. Now, Beast, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? Are right, these bad boys? Can I look at them harder? I mean, one is the lipstick, but. I mean, that one's also spilled. That's something Vector would do. No! I thought it was strange there was more than one cop sitting next to you while you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday. You and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's. I. It's not. Like, it's not. No, it, I wasn't. Oh, don't, don't tell Amy! I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say, Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to play the game out, but we did and we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine, no proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest. I didn't want to get caught. And that's my story. And alibi. I already told you in a bridge version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. <laughs> well, that explains one of the used cups. But... What did the cop with the lipstick mark? Rouge was here too. Uh oh! Uh oh! Incon it's inconsequential. Nothing worth mentioning. Almost saved my game. Alright. She searched around for something but failed. Made fun of her game and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently? Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that's happened before and before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm, I'm not understanding this scenario. Vector visited the play games, Rouge can't find something, and left. Then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our quest. Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? Huh? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list doesn't make sense. Beast, can you take a look one more time? An odd name on the score list? What is Tails all talking about? I mean, yeah, I think it's Ultim. Oh my god! <laughs> it took me a minute. You wonder who I was thinking of. I was thinking of, um... Funny, funny Twitter. Funny Twitter man, Ultima. Flash him, fla flash him really quick. Uh, he responds to me. He likes my tweets. It makes me really happy. But I, I get it. I get it. All the other names have a food theme, but this one... Who? Here goes by Ultim. You may not know, Bisto, but there's someone here that goes by that title, The Ultimate Life Form. There's really someone here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. He, he did really shitty, honestly. So Shadow was here too? He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They are both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Isn't that Amy's car? Or Amy's key? Uh, Shadow told me to lock the door and not to open it for anyone. Then, he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through, not here long after, did you open the door for her? No, I think she has some sort of key too. That's right, the conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library that caused Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge searching for? I don't know, they didn't even tell me. You know, I asked that with, <laughs> with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves. More information than I expected to get there, but it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we can confirm things with Vector. Fair enough, the library is in the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give over KO'd Sonic an earful for me. Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Beast. Let's head to the library. On it! This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. Beasto, coming. And with that, um, this is so much longer than I thought it was going to be. I'm ending it here. At least part one, this is absolutely going to continue. I need to see what happens. I love a good murder mystery. It's an extremely well done murder mystery. Uh, if you enjoy this, please, like, let me know. And maybe we could do more visual novels. I would love to play through, like, Phoenix Wright or something like that, the Ace Attorney uh, franchise. Thank you so much for watching, and have yourselves a good day.